what it is, what it do. <laughs> Boss here. <clears throat> and you know it's me. And to be honest with you, I shouldn't be on here right now. Uh, my mind is working overtime. I ain't with. I ain't in a hundred percent of my wits right now. I'm working on low sleep, and uh, I'm a little discombobulated. You see, I got the big cock hat on, so the big cock get to rock the longest. So I, I guess I get to still say what it is that I want to say. But if enough people tell me to get off, I get off. But you know, this is a good outlet for me sometimes to speak. But I try to practice being slow to speak and faster or quicker to listen and to hear because you know sometimes you think you got the answers and you speak before you really got the thoughts together you know what I mean I, I have been told yeah you know it's, it's good to talk to you man thank you for thank you for listening you know what I'm saying but I wasn't always that way you know what I mean being somebody who listened more could have saved my fourth and fifth marriage I don't know I don't know you know hindsight is twenty twenty. If I knew then what I know now, who's to say what position I could have been in? Who's to say what I could have changed and helped about my own life? You know what I'm saying? So, but now I'm an experienced older man. You see the grays. You know, I'm trying to change my ways. You know, I used to be unfair in my thinking. You know what I mean? If I thought you did me wrong, I didn't think to resolve the conflict. I thought, I get you. I get you. No soon, no sooner than I get a chance, I'm gonna get your ass back. But that ain't the way it's done. When you say do unto others as they would do unto you, that's me how you want to be treated, not how you even the score or get back at them. You know what I mean? And people think like that. I thought like that, so I was just as wrong then in thinking to do that. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm trying to quote the word or knowing what's written in the Bible or knowing what's biblically spoken, it's like, yeah, I'll apply the part that. I like, I'll apply, I'll apply the part to me that works in this scenario, but I disregard the fact that, you know, it, it, it don't apply to everything else that I'm doing. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. You know what I mean? Because when you decide to straighten up and fly right, the things that you were trying to correct are things you did in the past, but there are a lot of things you didn't see that was going on wrong around you and because of what you were doing and because of the way you was, you know, acting and behaving in most situations. So you was overlooking a lot of things that could have been handled differently and could have been handled better. And so having experienced that, you know, I, uh, you know, if I'm discussing it with somebody and they want to listen or wouldn't listen, I'll say, I'll tell them that, or I'll speak from personal experience. You know what I mean? Does it, let me talk to you for a second. There have been some people and probably because of their background or probably because of, you know, where they're from, they think, or they give the impression from hearing me or listening and or talking to me like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, or call me deacon, you know what I'm saying, or some kind of uh, church reference, like, oh, yeah, Reb, I heard you over there talking to the day. you know what I'm saying, and it's like, bruh, bruh, who, who, me? Shit, <laughs> I don't think I could be either one of those, you know what I'm saying, unless it's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm a reverend at the Richard Pryor Tabernacle or the, the Red Fox Episcopal Church, something like that, because, you know, I'm going to see it like it is and call it like it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to call a ball a ball and a strike a strike. And if you're an asshole or you being a shithead, there ain't many churches that want to hear you talk like that. But you know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd rather just have a YouTube channel <laughs> where I can say what it is. And if you listen, you listen. If you don't, you don't. But don't come talking about being part of my congregation and not expect me to say exactly what I want to say. But I mean well. You know what I'm saying? It ain't to insult nobody. It's just, you know, when in the, in the heat of the moment. I ain't going to look at what I got written down. I'm going to know what's written in my heart. And what comes out of my mouth is going to emphasize that point the way I talk. So, yeah, you're an asshole. You're wrong. Don't ask me no more questions. You asked for it. I told it to you. Point blank period in the story. But still the same, you know, um, like I said, during my eighth or ninth marriage, you know what I'm saying? I, there's a lot of things I could have did differently. And because I was doing wrong, I was overlooking you know, what was going on behind my back and what could have been seen in front of my eyes if I'd have been paying attention. And, uh, you know, several things occurred that I didn't find out till later on. It was like, oh, shit, you know, I didn't know. Who knew? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, running the streets of Jacksonville, Florida, and doing my dog on Thug Fizzle, and, you know what I'm saying, trying to take over the world and stuff like that and shit. Behind my back, 
Hell, somebody building a bomb and got getting ready to put glass in my food and poison in my drink and all kind of stuff. But God got me out of that. He got me out of it just in the nick of time. <laughs> but then again, you know, which came first? The chicken or the egg? Was I just so blind that I didn't realize it was happening before I decided to stop doing the right things and stop doing what it took to make a family and, and do right? Or, you know, based on my actions? You know, did it happen as, you know, me leading my family down the wrong path? Everything happened wrong as a result. Who's to say? I don't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty, and God is my only witness. So, and he ain't tell me, so apparently he was like, well, it don't matter now. You're out of there. Leave it alone. But, I mean, like I said uh, a, a couple of days earlier, you know what I'm saying? And I know what I said because I was there when I said it. If you can't even the playing field and make it to where everybody can be equal and be treated with the same respect but then that ain't the game for you if you can't even the score you can't even the playing field you know if somebody's doing wrong you can't follow behind them and then like okay well this is how we do what well, if you're both doing wrong then who's leading who that's the blind leading the blind you know what i mean you have no regard for who truly is making the judgment call on on both your actions on everybody's behalf you know what i mean when you do that when you do that when you look to god when you look to who's really keeping score then it's like, no, I ain't going to do what you did. I don't like what you did, and I don't have to be here as a result, but I'm not going to follow your lead and do the same thing because my true judge is the one that I need to be concerned with. And what his determination for me is all I should concern myself with. I just can't do it with you you know, because I see what you want to do, but I can't do that also, you know what I'm saying, because that would incriminate my soul and my overall destiny, and I can't lose that or sacrifice that for anyone. So that's, that's, that's one way to look at it, you know what I mean? Uh, I've said this quote before. Uh, I'm sure I said it on here, as a matter of fact. Uh, Mark Twain, the famous writer, you know, uh, an honest man doesn't have to remember what he said. But he was a racist, so to hell with him, because he also wrote a book with a character called Negro Jim in it. So are you going to listen to him? I mean, is he a good person to quote from? I don't know. But you could also listen to the lyrics of somebody who seems to be enlightened and have their spiritual side together, like Kevin Gates, who tells you to follow and pray and listen to your heart and give God, you know, say all the reverence that he deserves. But, you know, I remember hearing him say, hell, I thought it was okay to beat your hoe. Is that what you said, Kevin? Is you a good person to listen to in times of trouble? I'm, go I'm going to say prob I'm going to say probably not. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if... Uh, if you find your situation to be unstable, then you got to stop, pray, ask for the strength, and then do what's necessary. Don't stay, change, and conform, and then condemn your own self. You can't really do that, nor should you do that. Me talking to you, you know what I mean? So, And the excuse that a lot of us would give, admit it, don't lie. If you lie, I'll call you out right there. Now. If you say, all right, well, because this is how I'm being treated, now I'm going to go and, and do the despicable and unspeakable. No, no. That's an, that's an excuse and a cop-out. You don't have to do that because you don't have to be there. You could always choose you know, to bail out on that situation to do better because you're trying to save yourself to continue doing what's right. You know, and when the situation changes, that don't mean you change. You know what I'm saying? You just have to leave the scene. You shake the scene and get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Don't use that as an excuse to do things that you probably wouldn't ordinarily do. But of course, if I came home and, you know, I, I came home from work and I was hungry and come to find out, you know, my wife burned a chicken and then I go down to the snooty fox to pick up a $2 whore. I, that's not validated. Everybody know that's wrong. <laughs> like, oh shit, they go boss, up there getting a beer, you know, she must have messed up the food again. Come on, man. She deserved better than that and I deserve to do better for myself. You know, I used to be with them brothers who used to think think based on their mere small understanding of the Muslim faith like oh man shoot I should be a Muslim because they can have multiple wives spiritually you got to have that faith for one two you got to be able to take care of all the women and the children that may result as a res you know, that may become as a result of these relationships if you can't maintain a relationship with multiple partners then you can't have a relationship with multiple partners I don't give a shit if you a satanic worshiper. I don't care if you Episcopalian. I don't care if you a Jehovah's the witness. None of that. You know, that's what they believe and that's the practice. They, that's what they practice in that culture. You know what I mean? So you can't do that just to be philanderous or fallacious. So you can't, so you can't be that way if you were trying to follow the spiritual route. And you can't not be spiritual and be in a relationship because that's, you know, 
fornication. You you might just have to admit that you're just a freak, and before you get into anybody's relationship, you need to find out what's going on with you to make you feel like you need that much attention. Or if something's wrong with you, you know, you just got to be down and dirty all on all fours at all times. Which that you might need to see a doctor. Nymph- nymphomania, Nymph- nymphomania. What what did you diagnose with nymphomania? But that's a medical term, and you could just very well be a whore who's not being satisfied at home, and then that's different. You just need the attention of others because it's not happening where you want it to happen, and you seek for attention elsewhere. No, you just got to get out of that situation and move on to something that's more satisfying and fulfilling. But don't take my word for it. I mean, maybe that's just like Magic Johnson giving you sex tips. It's the same as me in having 11 marriages, and they all haven't failed. So, I mean, who's to say what you should do, what you shouldn't do? Pray about it. Give it to God. That's the best chance you got at a decent outcome. There's other people's lives at Jeopardy, so think about that also.